Hello, YouTube. What is happening, rhetorically, since I can't hear anybody's response? But uh, big thank you to my subscribers out there for all the nice comments and encouragement and support. Now this video is probably going to bounce around a lot, and I'm going to try to articulate well, but who knows if that'll happen. <laughs> so, uh, okay, I've said this before. A bunch of times I don't know about outer space I don't trust NASA but I don't think they're completely full of shit and everything they tell you I think at least 1% of it is true um, I believe in the firmament but these planets could be inside with us they could be a big metaphor for something else I don't know okay um, but I'm just saying all that because I'm gonna use a bunch of NASA sources and stuff like that to just kinda piece this together from where I am with my little theory here okay so uh yeah i think that'll that's pretty much a good enough disclaimer to start with so this thunderstorm asthma stuff very strange okay we've had i don't know if you've heard about these stories or not but it's happened in melbourne australia and now again in kuwait where these thunderstorms come and go out of these areas and all these people get sick. I think um, Melbourne was worse than Kuwait. I think they said something like over 8,000 people um, reported being sick and asthma-like symptoms after the storm came and went out of the area. Same as you can see in Kuwait, but apparently it killed five people in Kuwait. And what's even more interesting is that some of these people in Australia, at least in Australia, could be the same in Kuwait, I don't know, but at least in Australia, people were showing signs and symptoms of, of asthma that never had asthma, or according to them, never had asthma before in their life. And apparently it's some big rare phenomenon and all this kind of stuff, but I think it's a lot more than that. And I think it's, it's also this bizarre calling it some people, not everybody, are calling it bio-warfare. And I think that's just a cover for something that's going on in the atmosphere. And I don't know much... You know, like I said, I don't, I don't know. Uh, there's too much stuff out there for a Nibiru or Planet X or Nibiru or however you say it, man. Is it really important? It's the same thing, so who cares? You know, if I say tomato, you know I'm saying, you know I mean a tomato, and vice versa. So let's not let's not really get into the pronunciation because it's we're talking about the same thing. Okay, so Wormwood, Planet X, Nibiru, whatever this stuff is that may or may not be coming in and out of our solar system, there's just a lot of evidence to support that something like that is definitely out there. And I just can't help but wonder if that's what's really causing these storms that are causing people to get sick. And it's interesting how it does skip all over the globe, right? So what I want to show is some stuff from about between well the last 10 years or so this shows the solar system is changing okay um, let me actually back up here we'll get back to that in just a second um, so here we go let's just start here here's from 2005 from NASA you know like I said 1% you know it's this what I believe so if you believe that everything's bullshit and this is complete and utter nonsense then that's fine NASA astronomers using the Keck telescope in Hawaii are learning much more about a strange thermal hot spot on the tip of Saturn's south pole. So they're saying that this, this southern, southern tip of, of Saturn is heating up. They don't know why. They have theories, but there's no definitive explanation of why that is. Here's from 2008. Mysterious source of high-energy cosmic radiation discovered. Scientists announced Wednesday the discovery of a previously unidentified nearby source of high-energy cosmic rays. The finding was made uh, with a NASA-funded balloon bo uh, borne instrument high over Antarctica. Researchers from the Advanced Ionization uh, Calorimeter, however you say that, collaboration led by scientists at Louis, who cares about all that, um, the new results show an unexpected surplus of cosmic ray electrons at very high energy, 300 to 800 billion electron volts, that must come from a previously unidentified source or from the annihilation of very exotic theoretical particles used to explain dark matter. So we're getting all this energy that they're saying, at least from 2008, that we don't know where it's coming from. Here's 2010. 
New NASA scientists have been left stunned after detailed images of the surface of Pluto reveal it has dramatically changed color over just a two-year period. The Hubble telescope captured the images and revealed that the cosmic body demoted from full planet status in 2006 is significantly redder than it has been for the past several decades, and they don't know why. Here's one from 2015. Pluto is alive, but where is the heat coming from? Again, they say they claim they don't know. Here is from earlier, our, um, 2015 again. Is shrinking solar, or, excuse me, is shrinking superstorm evidence of climate change on Jupiter? And the article goes on to say, um, there are changes in the Jovian atmosphere too. The Hubble observations show a new wave structure about 16 degrees north of Jupiter's equa equator in a region of cyclones and anticyclones. It's similar to the previous observation, blah, blah, blah. It's clear that Jupiter's atmosphere is changing and the great red spot is evolving. The question is, again, why? They don't know why, as they claim, but we know that they know exactly what's going on. Here it is, Washington Times from earlier in this year. Earth isn't the only planet grappling with climate change, although this other orb doesn't have much in the way of fossil fuel emissions or of a 97% blah, blah, blah. Um, new published evidence suggests Mars is experiencing global warming as it emerges from an ice, uh, an ice age. The red planet, which moved closer to the Earth on Monday than at any other time since 2005, has retreated from a glacial period that would have covered large areas in white before the thaw about 370,000 years ago, according to a study published Friday in the Journal of Science. So again, they don't know why, but all these planets, all this stuff, the climate's changing, they're heating up, they don't know why. Um, here is cosmic rays intensifying space weather over the last year. So it's, it's, it's changing. This, at the atmosphere, this, and it's, isn't it funny? It's all spiritual. So that's why I said this could all be metaphors because we live, right, in a solar system. And there's no, there's, that's no way that's just coincidence that the biggest mystery is, you know, our souls, how they work, and even if we even have them, quote unquote. And so you have these stories now of this mysterious thunderstorms that are causing asthma now in two different places across the globe. And what also came out in the news in a couple days ago, cosmic dust found on rooftops in Paris, Oslo, and Berlin. And they're saying this is the first time, and they're saying it's from the, it's leftover cosmic dust from when the solar system created itself all those billions of years ago. I don't think so. I think that's coming from whatever might be changing up there or whatever it is that's happening. It's all tied into Nibiru, Planet X, Wormwood, uh, the winged disc, whatever it is, because for years, you know, or not for years, for centuries, millennia, all, the, all these different societies and cultures and civilizations all depict some crazy thing happening in the sky and the planets and or whatever they may be. Um, here's an awesome couple videos from the Higher Truth Channel saying that the sun has been confirmed flashing. All sorts of strange things are happening with the sun. And look at these fireball events. How many fireballs have we had this year so far? 4,865. How many were last year? I've done this a bunch of times. You can do this for yourself. The link will be below. Just click it here and then just click right here. Do it all yourself. 2015, I got a few windows open so it's going to take its, take its time. There were 4,213. 4, In 2014, it was even less than that. 3,773. And if you go back all the way to like whatever, 2000, you'll see there is a dramatic, monumental uptick in fireballs over the past decade at least. So what's bringing those in? What's causing that to happen? Think of all the uprise in the volcanic activity, the increase in the strength of all the, the high powerful strength of the earthquakes, um, all the rivers and lakes that have been turning red. Um, and people have said, well, it's because of social media that uh, that's why there's such an, an, a dramatic uh, increase in fireballs, um, that so many people are seeing them now and it's easily, they're, easy, they're more easily reported. Sure, that's a possibility, but I don't think so, it coupled with everything else. You know, the, and these things make the news all the time. Think about what happened in Russia a few years ago. These things are scaring the shit out of people. They're scaring the shit out of people. They're coming, they're, they're exploding, they're shaking people's homes, they're rattling the ground. 
Think of all the cannon booms and everything that are being heard all over the globe. You know, some weird shit is going on, and it's not just because of social media, so people have more access, they can just get on and report things. I don't think so. Or it could be methane going up because there's a record release of methane, and it's coming down and going pop too. That's a possibility as well. But like I said, mixed with everything else, it's kind of hard to deny that something's happening, and maybe there really is a possibility because they jump back and forth all the time, right? That now even NASA says there is a possibility that there could be something out there that's causing all this, a planetary celestial body. And think about this stuff with Pizzagate, right? Where is What's the center of Pizzagate? Comet. So it's like they're telling you, look to the skies, because the answer is all up there. We just don't know how to decipher all that shit up there with the constellations and the alignments and what it all really means. But it's funny that it's all centered around Comet, like, hey, 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 everybody, pay attention to what's going on above you. The sun, or I'm sorry, not the sun, but the moon was completely turned on its ass last night, in my opinion. I don't know a whole lot about up there, like I told you. But it seems like that moon is, is shifting positions. It seems like it's right side up some days, and then it's completely turned on its ass on, a, on others. So, and, what's, and what I find really interesting, too, about this cosmic dust um, that's found on the rooftops of Paris, Oslo, and Berlin now all of a sudden, that if you also find these stories um, that are being reported that Paris is under the worst air pollution that it has been in a decade. There are no shit, true story. The people, according to the news anyway, um, they're saying that they've 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 um, knocked traffic down to they're calling it, it's at a half traffic time to where no kidding license plates with odd numbers and then the next day will be even, even numbers. They're keeping people from from driving because of the air pollution, which to me makes me wonder since cosmic dust is being found there, is that all the air pollution is being covered is 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 to cover so people can't see what's going on above the skies there. So why is it not being in Oslo or Berlin? Then why is there not all this record pollution over there? I don't know. But think about China, too. China has been under crazy smog and pollution over the last several years. Again, is that to cover what's going on in the sky above? I don't know. Because it is interesting that it's, uh, that it, it, it's, it's, all, it's sporadically all over the globe. Or may, I, I could be completely wrong. So why is there dust on Paris and pollution in Paris, but not in Oslo and Berlin? Because I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm just trying to tie all this stuff in and show that there's some real strange things going on. And I think we're going to get our answer a lot sooner than, than everybody thinks. Thank goodness, right? If you can finally put this all to rest. So long video today. Just wanted to show you all that stuff. All the links will be below. Um, could be, I, I'm very, I don't care if I'm wrong, then get, you know what, you know what the true story is about this is if I'm wrong about this, that makes me an expert. It does look, watch your news. All those guys look at especially with the, the economy, look at all these economics predictions, the economic predictions that come and go year after year. Oh, we'll be at this, uh, growth next, this time next year, we'll be doing this this time next year. Jobs will be at this. They're not even anywhere close. These guys, just like the crash before 2008, you find all the news, all the economists, they missed it. All these experts. So if you're wrong about stuff in bizarro world, because that's where we are in upside down bizarro world, if you're wrong about shit, that makes you an expert. <laughs> God, jeez. Oh, man. Right now, I have a gun against my head just going boom. Ugh. Because this place makes you nuts. Makes you nuts. All right. Love you.